Fleetio tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video on how to use Fleetio. Fleetio is a cloud-based fleet management software that helps you manage all aspects of your vehicle fleet. It allows you to track, maintain, and analyze data related to your vehicles, drivers, and overall operations. Whether you have a small fleet of 5 vehicles or a large fleet of 500, Fleetio can help you streamline your operations and make informed decisions. In this tutorial, we will show you the basics of Fleetio and how to efficiently manage your fleet. We will guide you through creating an account, providing an overview of features and functionalities, and demonstrating how to add a vehicle in Fleetio. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Fleetio, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct homepage. Once you're on the homepage, click on the Start a Free Trial option, located at the bottom left side of the screen under the Book a Demo button. This action will redirect you to the registration page. Here, you'll find two different options for signing up. You can either sign up using your Google account or through your email address. Choose the option that best suits your needs and preferences. After you've chosen a sign-up method, follow the on-screen prompts and provide further information to set up your account. Once you've successfully signed up, you will be automatically redirected to your account dashboard where you can start managing your fleet with Fleetio. The dashboard is the central hub of your Fleetio account, providing a comprehensive overview of your fleet's activities and performance. The dashboard features a left menu with main tabs, each serving a specific function for streamlined fleet management. Getting started with Fleetio involves adding vehicles, inviting your teammates, and integrating telematics. These initial steps set the foundation for efficient fleet operations, enabling real-time tracking and task allocation amongst your team. Detailed insights about your fleet are available on the dashboard section. Here you'll find repair priority class trends, service reminders, open issues, and service resolutions. This data assists in identifying patterns, foreseeing challenges, and initiating timely preventative measures. The Vehicles tab presents a list of your fleet, vehicle assignments, meter history, expense history, and replacement analysis. This information aids in tracking vehicle performance, managing costs, and planning vehicle replacements when necessary. Equipment, typically non-rolling assets essential for daily operations or job completion, get their dedicated section. General data management and issue tracking for equipment can be performed here, ensuring they remain in optimal working condition. Inspections are an integral part of fleet management, and Fleetio offers a dedicated tab for it. The Inspections tab includes inspection history, item failures, schedules, and forms, enabling you to maintain high safety and compliance standards. The Issues tab allows you to manage issues, faults, and recalls related to your fleet, ensuring rapid resolution and minimizing downtime. The Reminders section keeps you updated with service reminders, vehicle renewals, and contact renewals. These reminders ensure that no critical tasks fall through the cracks, keeping your fleet operations smooth and seamless. The Service tab compiles service history, service tasks, service programs, shop directory, and shop integration. This helps you maintain your fleet in top shape, schedule required services, and locate service providers when required. The Contacts tab in Fleetio is where you manage all your contacts related to your fleet operations. Here, you can add and organize your drivers, mechanics, vendors, and other important contacts. The Vendors section, meanwhile, allows you to add and manage your vendors, service providers, and suppliers. This feature facilitates all vendor-related transactions, from tracking service histories to managing invoices. Under the Fuel History tab, you can monitor and analyze your fleet's fuel consumption. This feature gives you insights into your fleet's fuel efficiency and helps identify trends and areas for potential cost savings. It is also where you can input details of fuel purchases and track fuel-related expenses. The Places tab allows you to add and manage the important locations for your fleet operations. The Documents section provides a secure space for you to store all your fleet-related documents digitally. This feature makes it easy to access any vital information about your fleet, like vehicle registration papers, insurance documents, or service history records, anytime and anywhere. Finally, the Reports tab is where you can generate comprehensive reports about your fleet's performance. These reports cover various areas such as fuel consumption, repair and maintenance costs, vehicle usage, and much more. 
The insights derived from these reports can help you make data-driven decisions to optimize your fleet operations. Now, let's see how to add a vehicle to Fleetio. Adding a vehicle to your Fleetio account is a simple and straightforward process that aids in comprehensive fleet management. Being able to track and manage all the vehicles in your fleet is one of the key benefits of using Fleetio, and it all starts with adding your vehicles to the platform. To add a vehicle in Fleetio, navigate to the top right corner of the dashboard and click on the plus button. This action triggers the appearance of a drop-down menu with different options. From these options, click on the vehicle option. Doing so will take you to the new vehicle page where you can add your new vehicle to Fleetio. The new vehicle page asks for various details about the vehicle. These details fall into three categories, identification, classification, and additional details. Under identification, you'll need to provide the vehicle's name, its VIN or SN, license plate number, year of manufacture, make, or car company, trim, labels for easy identification, and a photo of the vehicle. These details help in uniquely identifying each vehicle in your fleet. In the classification category, you'll need to provide the vehicle's status, or active, inactive, group, if applicable, operator, and ownership details. This information helps to categorize and manage the vehicle based on its operational status and other parameters. Lastly, under additional details, provide the vehicle's color, body type, body subtype, MSRP, or manufacturer's suggested retail price, and any linked vehicles if there are any. These details further assist in identifying and managing the vehicle. After filling in all the details, click on the Save Vehicle button to add the vehicle to your fleet. If you have more vehicles to add, Fleetio gives you the option to save and add another. Click on this button to save the existing vehicle details and immediately start adding another one. This streamlined process makes it easy to add multiple vehicles to your Fleetio fleet in a quick and efficient manner. Next, let's see how to add new issues in Fleetio. Managing issues competently is a critical aspect of fleet management. It ensures quick resolution of problems, thereby minimizing downtime and maintaining the overall health of your fleet. The Fleetio platform offers a structured and efficient way to report and manage issues. To add a new issue, start by navigating to the top right corner of the dashboard. Here you'll find a plus button that, when clicked, a drop-down menu appears with different options. From among these, select the Issue option. This action will direct you to the New Issue page where you can record comprehensive details about the issue at hand. Firstly, you'll need to assign the issue to a specific asset. This could be a vehicle or equipment experiencing the problem. Next, set the priority. This is important as it helps you manage the order in which issues should be addressed. After this, provide the reported date. This is the date when the issue was first noticed or reported. Subsequently, write a brief summary of the issue. This needs to be concise yet descriptive enough to provide an overview of the problem. You then write the description. This is where you provide a more detailed account of the issue, including any additional observations, the impact of the issue, and any attempted or suggested solutions. Labels can also be added to categorize the issue, making it easier to filter and find similar issues later. The individuals who reported are assigned to resolve the issue should be specified in the reported by and assigned to fields, respectively. The overdue setting helps track the resolution process and ensures issues are addressed promptly. Here you can add the deadline for issue resolution. To assist in troubleshooting, you can also attach photos of the issue. Once all the necessary details are filled in, click the Save Issue button to officially log the issue into Fleetio. If you have another issue to report, instead click on the Save and Add Another button. This allows you to record multiple issues in succession, streamlining the process and saving time. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Fleetio. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching, and